Hello and welcome to another video on Next.js. In today's video, we are going to cover how you can make sitemap in Next.js. And a short disclaimer, this only works if you have the pages you want on your site available to you when you are building your build. Okay. Um, if the pages get added later on, it won't be included in your sitemap example if you are using any cms and you published an article on your cms that won't reflect on your sitemap for that you have to use some other approach which i will tell you don't worry in another video not this one this is only limited to static builds okay so let's get started and if you want that video like i just, just want it just comment and i will drop it tomorrow only okay okay so we will start by initializing a next project using their command npx create next app at the rate latest okay uh, it will be this root only uh, typescript yes always eslint yes tailwind we are not going to use tailwind because we are not going to style anything we are primarily objective here is to build sitemaps okay so we will stick to that only uh, src yes we need src app router yes and by the way this approach works with page router as well so don't you worry it works both way for app router and for page router okay turbo pack no we are not going to use turbo pack do not customize the default ideas and if you are wondering what is turbo pack your bro knows it and if you want the video on it do let me down in the comments below and i will definitely make a video on turbo pack so in src folder okay until it is getting set up i will just remove this and this and i will remove it this dependency as well okay bye bye and bye bye okay also i will set up a blogs path okay blogs which will have a pages and i don't need you oh, and i also don't need this it will be clean slate with a h1 tag that will be home page not hello world home page with some lorem okay and i will repeat this with just copy paste okay this will be the home page and this will be the page only this will our this is our blog index page blogs page okay i will create two or three blog articles to demonstrate how you can use this approach okay and i will delete this and i will quickly copy some next uh, snippets okay so wait a wait a sec uh this copy paste yes okay i have pasted a few normal pages here okay copy which is the page or home page okay okay now let's run our server npm run dev okay so by the time it is getting started we will look at the package we are going to use and that will be site next dot sitemap okay copy and i will install it as well and please don't mind my language english is not my primary language so please bear with it okay i am trying okay so please okay the package is installed now let's open our dev server and let's see if the pages has been created or not and also i will i will i will i will link the these pages Okay, lorem not div li this title well ordered list and it will have a list of pages how to be a better developer how to be a better developer okay and a key is missing so i will add a key okay nice is this static route okay nice anyways let's move so we have created these three pages and let's check if those are created or not we'll go to blogs okay there, there are one two and three articles okay we have created we'll close this and now let's get to the part we all want to get to okay so let's set up our sitemap generation I will come here and I will say post build post dash build 
and I will say next site map. Okay, this won't work. And we need to add a file named next sitemap.config.js. Copy. And I will just copy this and rename this the file we have just copied. Okay. And I will clear this. Okay. And I will copy this and paste it here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So you see, uh, we have to define the si sitemap URL. Okay, what is what will be the default URL, like the home URL, or the domain of your site. So you have to define that. Okay, let's say it is example.com. So full HTTP URL without the slash, not without the slash. If you put the slash, it will be included. Okay, then you need to, uh, whether you want to generate robot.txt, yes, please generate robot.txt, we need that. And you can skip if you have created a file named robot.txt in your public folder okay i will just customize this uh, to demonstrate how you can customize your site map if you are using this approach you can just use this approach it work well out of the box but most of the time you need to customize this because this will give your home page a priority of 0 0.7 okay so for now i am setting 0 0.7 as a default priority change frequency will be weekly for every page on our site and i will define a custom function okay transform function okay let's see what this function does okay so we have copied our default priority which will come from config okay and second argument is path which is provides path will be slash slash blogs slash blog slash how to be a better dev okay this will be our paths okay so we have taken priority frequent change frequency and path for the default for the home path we want the priority to be one because it's a home page and it changes monthly okay we upload changes to our home page monthly and let's say for the blogs priority will be 0 0.9 because we want to promote it but does not want to promote it too much to get give it one because that's a home page for us okay and it will change daily and blogs will change okay blogs uh, like we have defined how to be a better dev will include this syntax slash blog slash and then the slug so it will have the priority of 0 0.6 okay just to show uh, showcase okay and i will create uh, another folder let's say about and I will just copy this there about page this one have will have the default we have defined in the main default like uh, here okay the about page will have this configuration because we are not altering anything for that okay now let's close our development server and npm run build let's see what happens Let's wait. Okay, so build is done. Let's start the server. Not the dev server, main server. NPM run start. Okay, let's go to the page. You see home page. To access sitemap, it will be on sitemap.xml. Unfortunately, it is not. What could be the reason? Okay. Post build. Okay it is post build not dash post build okay let's build it again right and npm run start okay so build is done and it has been started now you see there is a two uh, logs you can see sitemap indexes and sitemaps okay to access this th this is the main sitemap which contains the url of your pages and this is the sitemap which contains url of your sitemaps okay i won't go into details of how they differ i will just open this one okay sitemap dash o dot xml paste okay you see uh, we have blogs with slug how to be a better dev with daily frequency and change 
priority of 0 0.6 okay like we have in our configuration it will be 0 0.6 default will be 7 but for blocks it will be 0 0.6 okay and let's search where is our about okay this is our about which has the change frequency of weekly and 0 0.7 which is the default one okay and for the home page this is the home page okay we have monthly priority of one okay and if you go to this sitemap this will indicate to the url of the sitemap okay and there are two type of sitemaps okay one which contains the url of other sitemap and the sitemap which contains the url of pages so this is the one which contains the sitemaps okay and the other one i showed you which contains the url of the pages okay it took me a while to understand this i'm just telling you those are those two are different okay okay so let's say you do not want your sitemap or whatever your sitemap is on this sitemap.xml don't want your sitemap on to be dot slash zero on dot xml because you can't configure that in this approach okay so i will show you how you can do that using a custom sitemap post build okay the post build this gave me was the default which came from the package but we can write our own script to build these pages okay we will see that now okay so please bear with me and i will show you how you can do that okay in order to make a custom sitemap like entirely from the scratch not using any packages we need to do two things first we need to make a folder with a file name sitemap.mjs okay so i have created a root in root a folder name scripts which contains a file name generate sitemap.mjs okay then secondly you have to update your post build with node dot slash sites oh, sorry slash scripts slash generate sitemap.mjs okay now we can start writing our code uh, and we will need to download a package name globally okay so i will install globally so what globally does is it can capture the path from your build folder okay if you see the build okay you you go in the server dot next slash server you see app app contain pages slash underscore not found about so this this is this is pure html page okay so we need to grab these pages okay so globally helps you get these pages via its syntax okay if you are familiar with linux it is similar to glub command okay okay we will import globally with write file sync because we need to update or write this file in public slash sitemap dot xml okay we will create few utilities okay first being our sitemap url which will be our url of our site then generate url which will concat the domain with the path name second a default config for our url set it will be change weekly priority will be 0 0.7 last modifier will be current date and a home config i will tell you why we have a uh, sub separate configuration for home which will contain loc change frequency uh, priority and last mod okay we can okay cool now let's write our function before that we need to uh, address few things we need to add next approach like what approach we are going with like it's a app router or a pages router okay because depending on that a dot next slash server slash app or pages might differ so we are using app router so we will use app here okay then we need to define the path in which path the page can be found okay so it will be dot next this is the dot next folder which contains server second server and then the approach so approach we are going with is app so app will contain all our HTMLs okay that is server path with dot okay now let's write our function okay copy close this and generate sitemap okay first we need to get all the pages we want and the all the pages we don't want okay so we will grab pages from build okay we will only include html pages 
विच इज इन द रूट डायरेक्टरी और इन द नेस्टेड डायरेक्टरी बट वी विल एक्सक्लूड इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल ओके बिकॉज इन साइट मैप इट विल शो स्लैश इंडेक्स ओके दैट इज नॉट द करेक्ट पार्ट फॉर द होम होम विल बी डोमेन स्लैश नॉट द इंडेक्स सो वी विल एक्सक्लूड इंडेक्स ओके वी विल एडेड एट मैनुअली डेट शॉर्ट डेट शॉर्ट वी हैव एडेड होम कॉन्फिक ओके वी विल एक्सक्लूड फोर ओ फोर पेज वी विल एक्सक्लूड अंडर स्कोर नॉट फाउंड पेज एंड फाइव हंड्रेड पेज डेट इज सर्वर एर पेज ओके विल सेव दिस मूव ओके प्रीटीआर इज नॉट वर्किंग फॉर सम रीजन वी विल फिगर आउट दैट वाई इट इज नॉट वर्किंग ओके देन कॉन्स्ट साइट मैप एस टी आर ओके बेसिकली स्ट्रिंग वी विल एड ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट ऑफ साइट मैप इज दिस एंड अ क्लोजिंग वन देन वी विल एड पाथ फॉर आर होम पेज यू आर एल फॉर आर होम पेज सो दिस इज द सिंटैक्स फॉर सम रीजन इट इज नॉट फॉर्मेटिंग एंड इट इज गिविंग एनजाइटी ओके यू आर एल लोकेशन विल बी जनरेट यू आर एल होम कॉन्फिड लोक एंड लास्ट मॉडिफाइड चेंज फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड प्रायोरिटी फॉर होम पेज फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द पेज वी विल मैप ओके यू विल यूज मैप फंक्शन ओके आई विल कॉपी पेज द कोड वॉज इट्स क्वाइट लार्ज कोड आई विल एक्सप्लेन वॉट इट डज सो वी आर मैपिंग थ्रू द बिल्ड पेजेस ओके वी आर रिप्लेसिंग द स्ट्रिंग ऑफ सर्वर पाथ विथ नल and we are replacing dot html with empty string okay both is getting replaced by the empty string because we uh, so for example we have page example let's say okay dot next server app pages slash blog first post which will be afterwards after replace will look like this slash pages slash blog slash first post okay that's why we replace this to string okay then we uh, we will get loc using generate url function last modified will we can get from default config dot last modified uh, change config we can get it from default now this is the important part when you need to configure the defaults like we did with next site map we will just copy paste the entire thing and remember to right priority has a string not a number because it will cause a parsing error for your site map okay do keep that in mind it is similar to what we does did for the next site map configuration and we return the url okay url tag and we close it then what we need to do is this right file sync okay hmm. right file sync public sitemap dot xml sitemap str okay now let's test if this approach is working or not okay npm run build and run start also delete this site map which was generated by previous approach and you can also add approach to add dot robot dot txt but you can simply add it manually let's see collecting build traces and yeah it is done and let's check in load you see now the url of home is at top because we have defined it custom to be at top priority of 1 monthly then about that is default and for blog it is 0.9 daily index and for the articles it is 0.6 daily okay so i hope these two approaches help you build the site map in nextjs and uh, if you have any question or you are facing any difficulty regarding this particular problem please reach me out through my social media handle and with that i will see you in next one bye bye